The name's going to be Black Fingernails Red Wine. Mm. That's the name of the record. Just to confuse retailers, really. <laughs> <laughs> when when we like um when we went to the Arias before last year, um, uh, Songs of the City was up for about seven awards or something like that. Mm. But Jet were up for all the same awards, and they ba- and they they of course you know scooped the pool or whatever they call you, you say, and um, they took all the awards out. And I think at that moment in time, it's like it's not like we were like we were like bitter or anything like that. But I really felt like because a Songs of the City had just been like a, a, a personal, very personal album, and um, which which did really well for us and was awesome. There was that moment in time where I just felt like next record I want to go and make a, a really big pop record, basically. Like, I'd, but obviously in in a style that we would want to do it. You know, it doesn't have to be like selling ourselves out or anything. We've tried to write like pop pop songs for other people, and it just doesn't really work. No, no, there has to be a bit of soul in there. Yeah. So, so what happened is the kind of in the year leading up to when we started to write everything. Like, I really started to kind of get into character about. Um, you know ha- like this idea of this stadium rock band and I w- usually what I do is like I'll, as I write the songs I do like solo shows in Perth and, and just kind of play the songs out and give, give them a bit of feel but what I do is I'd k- I kind of like dyed my hair black and put like all this black eyeliner on and started wearing all these like really stereotypical rock star clothes if you know what I mean like just to really kind of get into the character of it and it really worked because then you know I'd go home the next week and you just you'd feel like you know you were this character and, and that's kind of how the songs came out with this kind of almost pretend play rock star thing going on. Mm. I kind of thought that like maybe if we pretend to be this stadium rock band, people will believe us and come and we'll book out stadiums and people will come. 